This is the future of road travel. Makers of the driverless electric podcast said it could make traffic jams, crowded buses and petrol fumes a thing of the past. We asked what people wanted out of transport and it's quite clear what they want. They want something which is uh, available when they want it right? and takes them where they want to go without stopping in a sustainable way, you know, environmentally friendly. So the question we asked ourselves is how do we design something which meets those objectives, which is everybody's objectives in transport and which is not met by existing forms. And this is what emerged. Bringing the process to this stage took some six years of research and development in engineering, design and construction of the car shell itself, the laser guidance systems and the dedicated road it will travel on. It's all British technology. I mean, uh, we've looked at various locations for who is delivering the best battery systems, who is delivering the best, but the majority, majority of it is, is British. The personal rapid transport system will be used at London's Heathrow Airport from next year. It has already generated considerable interest throughout Europe, America and the Middle East, where its makers say there is no reason it would not work on a worldwide level. We believe we can deliver a system like this anywhere in the world within a couple of years. And our experience is that the, pr the problem with it, with it is not the technology and the time, time, time scale, the problem is just people making decisions. And obviously this is, a, this is new, people are fear, afraid of the unknown. The very first one in the world is going to Heathrow. So uh, when, the, when this starts working, uh, when it's working pretty well so far, when it starts working fully, I'm sure that people would, will say, well, actually this could really help us in our city too. The personal rapid transport system will be used to transport up to 500,000 passengers through Heathrow Airport from next year.